This is how you can set your bot's status or presence with a slash command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code, and over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code, and of course, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is interesting, to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video so we can start by going over to moderation and we're going to go ahead and create status.js you could also call this presence.js if you would like next we can do const and we're going to do slash command builder and we can do embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js next we can do module.exports equals we're going to go ahead and open this up we can say data and that is going to be new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be status next we can go ahead and set a description and we can say set a box status and we can say devs only then we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name and that is going to be status and then we can do dot set description and we can say the status you want as the bots presence and then we can do set required and we're going to go ahead and make that true now we can go ahead and add another string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be type and then we can go ahead and say description and we can say the type of status you want the bot to have and then we can go ahead and add choices and we're going to go ahead and open this up we're going to do name and our first choice is actually going to be a watching and then we can do value and for this we're going to open up a string and we're going to open this up as well and in here we're just going to go ahead and put four next we can do comma and we're going to open this up again we can do name and this is going to be playing and for our value we're going to open this up and we're going to go ahead and set that to one then we can do this again so we'll open that up we'll do name and we can do listening and we're going to do value and in here we can go ahead and put in three we can do comma and we're going to open this up and we can do name and that is going to be competing and then for the value we're going to open this up and for competing we're going to go ahead and pass in six and then our last one is going to be name and we can do streaming and we're going to do value and for that we can go ahead and put in two then we can go ahead and add a comma and we're going to do async execute and go ahead and get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up down here we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get options and then we can do equals interaction now we can do const status equals options that get string and that is going to be our status string now we can do const type equals options that get string and here we can do our type string as well now we're going to check to see if the user using this command is a dev and by that i mean you or somebody else so we can do if and we can say interaction.user.id is not equal to and then we can go ahead and pass in the id of yourself or the id of a different dev and for me that's going to be my id of course so we can go ahead and put that in there and then we can go ahead and return await interaction to reply we can say content and we can say this command is only for devs and then we can go ahead and do infermal and we can go ahead and set that to true then we can say else and we can go ahead and open this up one more thing that we are going to do up here is we're actually going to go ahead and pass in our client so we can access it down here and then we can do client.user.set activity and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to do name and that is going to be our status and then we can do type and this is going to be type minus one and we're going to go ahead and actually enable the streaming part of this so that if the user selects a streaming and that will work as well we can do url and this actually has to be a twitch link so you could literally put in any twitch link you want if you don't have your own twitch um, but i'm just going to put mine in and you do have to make this a string so you can go ahead and do that so like i said before if you want the streaming to work you have to put this in if you don't want the streaming to work every time you select streaming it's just going to default to listening for that we can go ahead and create an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder we're going to go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue then we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to be a white check mark and then we can say the bot now has the status and then we can do back backslash tick and we're going to open up status and we can do another backslash tick and then we can do comma and we can say with the type and we're going to open up type minus one we can actually go ahead and send this so we can do await interaction dot reply and we can do embeds and then we can go ahead and pass in our embed and we're actually going to go ahead and make this infermal so we can do infermal and we're going to set that to true as well all right so with that we are actually done the last thing that we're going to go ahead and do is right here we're actually going to go ahead and set this to required for our second string option for our type. We can do that set required and we're going to set that to true. And then the other thing that we're going to do before we restart the bot here is right before the dot set required on the status string, we can go ahead and do set max length. And then in here, we can go ahead and pass in 128 just like that. So once you're done with
with both those things and everything else in the code, we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server here, as you can see, the tutorial bot is online, but it does not have an activity like any of these other bots do. So we can go ahead and set that by doing slash status. And as you can see here, we can get our command that's going to allow us to input a status. So for me, I'm going to do test. And then we can go ahead and put in a type here. So we can do watching, playing, streaming, listening, all that stuff, competing. So I'm just going to go ahead and do watching for now. We can go ahead and send this and it's going to say the bot now has the status test with the type three, which is fine. And then if we open this up, as you can see, it's going to say watching test for the present. So we can do this again and we're going to do testing status and then we can go ahead and select streaming this time. So as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say that the bot now has the testing status with type one. And as you can see, it's going to say streaming live on Twitch. So we can try this a couple more times, but this time I'm going to try to actually spam this. So I'm going to put in characters above 128. So we can actually go ahead and spam this. And if we go ahead and try to send it, as you can see, I can only send characters 128 or less. And the reason for that is because the status will not take anything more than that. Otherwise, it just won't work. So we can do this one more time. This time, we're going to say discord.gg slash coding lounge. And we can go ahead and select watching. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and say watching discord.gg slash coding lounge. So that's how you can code a status command for discord.ga's version 14 bot. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And you might as well join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.